All right, well, we're gonna try to carry on with some uh, Central America, but we've had a impasse, as always happens with these war games. Like I said earlier in my videos, whenever you play opponents, you spend more time arguing about what the rules say than you to actually play in the game. Uh, but uh, let me pause this so I get a pointer real quick. All right, the attacking question is right here. He's got three units here. He's wanna attack this hex here, the next hex here. In Central America, they have the uh, mechanic that whenever uh, you want to attack a unit, like say this unit right here, you have to attack. If you want to attack him, he's got to ta have units to attack everybody that's adjacent. That's basically what it is, which I think is goofy. I don't understand that rule. I mean, like I just told my opponent, if I was a commander or if I was in combat and I had 150 men or 200, whatever it is, and I wanted to attack this guy. Why would I attack? <laughs> Why would I thin out my forces to attack in three different directions? I mean, it don't make no sense. I just attacked a unit that I wanted to attack. I wouldn't have him attack this unit. And have, if I had 50 men, 20 of them attack here, 15 attack here, 15 attack. It don't make no sense. But I don't know. And I was telling him maybe the game uh, designers wanted to incorporate the fact that if you were right here as a communist unit and you wanted to attack this unit here that these would attack you and you'd have to put out some kind of defense or I don't know. But anyway, in our game, this is the hex that's being attacked. Uh, he wants to only attack with units from this hex right here, this artillery, and not use units from here. But that ain't the way it goes. And here we are with a little summary. <laughs> it's not too hard to figure out. Here you go, the same situation. Say this is a blue hex, or this is the blue unit, Salvadoran unit, and these are the communists. I think it might be the other way around in this illustration, but for our purposes, there you go. He's right here. He's got two units next to him, just like it is right here, two units next to him. You can see here that he has to have one unit attack here and another unit attack. What's going on in this attack, though, is they're all going to attack this hex, but they have to soak off for an attack on this one and this one. It's really easy to figure out, but he's... He's maintaining that, oh, I can attack whatever, wherever I want or something, you know. He wants to attack everybody from here to here, and then everybody from here to here, which can't be done. You have to attack everybody. So we're going through that. If we get by it, if we can. If not, I don't know. We'll roll the dice for it or something. But uh, we're at a little bit of an impasse for rule legal ease here in uh, Central America. We'll be back.